Hello, grade three. Our lesson today is lesson three one, distributive property. Please open your book on page 110. Maria wants to set up seven rows of four chairs for a meeting. She wants to know how many chairs she, need, she needs, but doesn't know the product of seven multiply four. You can use unknown facts to help you find the product of, uh, you can use known facts to help you to find, to help you find the product of unknown facts. We will use the distributive property. Okay. We can write, it's, uh, we can write seven multiply four as five and two, five and two, because seven equal five plus two, five multiply four plus two multiply four, okay? The four will remain the same. The second number will stay as it is. So four will be the same. I will write four in the two parentheses, okay? And seven equal, I will write it as five plus two. So here, seven multiply four equal five multiply four plus two multiply four to make it easier for myself. And instead of find out seven multiply four equal what? I can find five multiply four, which is 20, as we know, because it's easy from the multiplication table of five. 5 multiply 4 equal 20 plus 2 multiply 4 equal 8. 2 multiply 4 equal 8. So 20 plus 8 equal 20, 28. So 7 multiply 4 equal 28. So Maria needs 28 chairs. Okay. Uh, please open your book on page 111. Use the smaller, the smaller arrays and the distributive property to find each missing uh, factor. You, you may use counters to help. Okay, again, I will write four multiply eight in a, um, as a two smaller multiplication equations okay so the eight will remain the same the second number will stay the same as it is multiply eight will stay the same okay and i will change on four i will change on four again here four multiply eight equal um how many rows do i have up here i have here smaller arrays I have up here, I have two rows. So two multiply eight. I have two rows and eight columns. So two multiply eight. Plus down here, I have two rows also, two rows multiply eight columns, multiply by eight columns. So plus two multiply eight. Okay, so four multiply eight equal two multiply eight plus two multiply eight. We write the four as two plus two and the eight will remain the same. Multiply eight will stay the same um, as it is, okay? In five and six, separate separate the rows in the large array into two smaller arrays, write the new facts. I have here in question six, five multiply six. I have five rows and six columns. I can divide them into two smaller arrays. Let's say I will divide them into two smaller arrays like this. 
Um, yeah, this one and this one. Okay. The first array have how many rows? Have one, two, have two rows. So we will write two. I will write two, okay? Two rows. And how many columns? We know that the second number will remain the same. Multiply by six will stay as it is. And I have six columns. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six columns. So two multiply six. Plus the second array, the second array. I have here how many rows? One, two, three. I have three rows. Okay, I have three rows. Multiply by how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six. Multiply by six columns. Again, as we said, um, yeah, again, as we said, I write the five as two plus a three, okay? The five, I write it as two plus a three. And multiply by six, remain the same. Multiply by six, I write it again. Multiply by six here and multiply by six here, okay? So this is how we can write a multiplication equation using the distributive property. It's a, the distributive property, okay? We use it to break down uh, any multiplication equation into smaller multiplication equations, okay? In seven to 10, use the distributive property to find each missing factor, use counters and arrays to help. Question seven. Six multiply by eight equal. We write the six, look here. I will show you. We write the six as four plus two, okay? And the eight will remain the same. I will write the eight again and again, okay? It's multiplied by eight here. So four, the four here is multiplied by eight also. Plus two multiplied by eight again. So we write eight three times or the eight is here three times and we write the six as four plus two, okay? Please go to page 112. Question 11, beige bakes five, bakes five cupcakes. She puts seven jelly beans on each cupcake. How many jelly beans does beige need? Does beige need? Use the bar diagram to help you write an equation, okay? We will circle the the numbers, I will circuit the numbers. Uh, so she bakes five cupcakes and she puts seven jelly beans on each cupcake. So we will use the multiplication. Seven multiply by five equal we know that 7 multiplied by 5 equals 35. 